Easter 2020 and all over the land people are at home just washing their hands. The whole country has been put into lockdown but there's still some gobshites that want to go into town. I'm just going for a drive, I'll be home soon. From this virus, stupidity does not make you immune. A husband has got to reconnect with his wife as they sanitise each other to within an inch of their life. The children are shoving chocolate into their face, although it was meant to be hidden in a very safe place. We've kept in touch by Skype and by phone while keeping within the two kilometre zone. Some people on Facebook are making sourdough. Even though there's plenty in the shop below, the supply of bread has been fine all through this caper, but for some strange reason we've obsessed over toilet paper. We've watched everything on Netflix, Pornhub on telly as we lay on the couch just filling the belly, sneezing into our elbow even though it looks manky. There's no need for Tinder, there's no hanky-panky. We've played Scrabble and Monopoly and chess and drafts, trying everything we can to keep up the laughs as those who are kept in self-isolation try to make the best of a bad situation every night our leaders address the nation as we sit in on this month-long staycation with Leo and Michal Martin trying to see who can get the most time on TV and there's the medical man Tony Hoolan too and people asking where's Mary Lou? They keep telling us we have to flatten the curve as the doctors and nurses try to hold their nerve as they're watching the numbers of patients rising with no sign of help coming over the horizon. The future of this virus is in our hands, so we all have to do the best that we can. No going to bingo, not out for a dance, and definitely not taking the horse to France. The safety of your family is yours alone. All you have to do is stay at home. If we all work together, it might be over soon. And who knows, I might see you for a pint sometime around June. Now, go and wash your hands.